Ladies and gentlemen, it is April of 2020 and the world has been challenged with a deadly respiratory virus by the name of COVID-19. Now, most of the U.S. has issued a shelter-in-place order asking residents to stay at home in order to reduce the spread of the virus and flatten the curve. But as a result, many have found themselves suffering from chronic boredom. Now, this is a condition which, if not treated, can result in lifelong irreversible side effects. But luckily for you, I have created a series of challenges that you can follow along with me each week to cure boredom at home. Now look, there are plenty of people better qualified than I am to discuss the benefits of cold therapy, so I'm gonna put a couple of links in the description below if you're interested. I first became curious about cold therapy after watching a documentary on Wim Hof, a 61-year-old Dutchman, also known as the Iceman. Now Wim Hof has created the Wim Hof Method, which is a series of breathing techniques combined with cold therapy and meditation. Now, doing nothing but breathing and being very, very cold for a very long time, Wim Hof has managed to break a impressive amount of records. He ran a half marathon barefoot in snow and ice. He ran a full marathon in the desert without water. That's 26 miles. He submerged his entire body in ice for one hour and 53 minutes, direct contact, ice, skin. He climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in two days, wearing nothing but a pair of shorts and a pair of shoes. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I am not a professional. However, I did want to give you a visual and briefly explain what the breathing technique is of the Wim Hof Method. So here I'm just taking a very deep breath in, first through my stomach and then with my chest. And I'm going to repeat that about 30 times. After 30 deep breaths in, you're going to exhale and hold your breath as long as you can. Once you feel the urge to breathe, you're going to take one giant breath in and hold it for approximately 15 seconds and then exhale. That is one set. You're gonna repeat this three times. Now the breathing part is optional. However, it is helpful to do the breathing technique prior to getting into the cold water because it actually helps with your receptors and you don't feel the cold as bad. Now go ahead and fill up your bath with cold water. As you can see, I am putting ice into the water, but this is really just for the purpose of the video. You do not have to do this. And in reality, it doesn't actually make the water that much colder. It's just for visual aid. Throughout my experience over the last five months, I've noticed that doing the cold therapy once a week has resulted in a boost in my immune system. Now, every cold flu season, I get sick at least twice, pretty severely to the point where I'm in bed for at least a week. However, after doing this once a week for five months, I've noticed that I haven't gotten sick during a cold and flu season that was exceptionally bad. So just worth mentioning there. Um, and plenty of people also have claimed that doing the Wim Hof method will boost your immune system. So definitely worth the mention. the session that you're watching here lasted approximately three minutes. And every week since I started, I've been increasing the amount of time that I spend in the bath. I started with 30 seconds and now I'm up to three minutes. I'm only going to discuss my experiences because I'm not an expert, but I will tell you that energy levels, ability to focus, better sleep, lower stress levels, and just the endorphin rush that you get when you get out of that bath is unlike anything else I've ever experienced. I mean, I, it's hard to explain, so I'm challenging you all to please try it. First start, if you have a temperature thermometer at home, if you, if you have an instant read thermometer at home, check the temperature of the water. Try to do 50-ish degrees, start there. Don't start with ice and water. It'll be too much, it'll be a shock, and you can actually hurt yourself. So start at about 55 degrees, 50 degrees, hop in the water for at least 30 seconds, see if you can do it, that's the challenge. When you get out, tell me how you feel in the comments. I wanna know your experience, whether or not you thought it was helpful, if you thought it was useful, if you thought it was enlightening, or maybe just the worst experience of your life. <laughs> Guys, that's gonna do it for the first challenge of the Cure Boredom at Home Challenge series. 
If you found this useful, give it a thumbs up. But more importantly, I want you to experience this. I want you to get off the couch and I want you to do something that is challenging, that's gonna get your blood flowing again. It's gonna help you focus. It's gonna make you say, huh, that was different. And that's what it's all about. So leave a comment in the section below if you want me to do any other challenges throughout this series. But I will see you in the next one.